And the Mustangs in the bonus just midway through this opening quarter. And three trickles in. Threes and getting some good action right now. The freshman Justice G who's grown into her role for the Pirates with that three and the counter comes. Right there and then cut the, cut the Mustangs off guard a little bit. And a great three to start this second quarter. Antoinette Bannister. Still number 15 in purple. She provides an interior threat for this ECU team. And Oliveira got that rebound. She's been a presence since entering this game. SMU with numbers and one. It's SMU and four of them coming from Froling. Well, Gaffney doing a good job. Of it's quickly becoming the Froling Gaffney show between these two teams. Now Froling, her turn to throw a punch. Alicia Froling. A five point East Carolina lead in two Ray up to five points. And that is who needs to get hot for SMU, Alicia Froling. 15 points, more than half of SMU's points from Froling. They go inside the Gaffney, and that rolls in. Kristen Gaffney putting on a show for ECU. Four seconds to shoot. SMU's got to work quickly. Bolton. Wow. Cutting through the ECU defense. Bannister's got to move quickly to Frazier. Back to Bannister. Throws it up. It's good. This is a player that can catch and shoot. Look at the finish. With one second on the shot clock for the redshirt senior from Jacksonville, Florida. Both teams running to start this second half, and the first basket belongs to Khadijah Toure. Toure find that second gear in transition, exploding to the basket. Inside to Froling, the foul and the basket. Alicia Froling picking up where she left off in the opening half. Trying to get something going offensively. Kiara Perry flying to the hoop for two. Knocked away by Collins, and the Mustangs come away with it. Coast to coast finish. Nobody picked her up, and Kiara Perry with back to back buckets. The attacking in that area, trying to create some offense. Perry reading the eyes of G and takes it all the way home for the finish. And have really relied on their defense to create offense. Froling inside, has a step and uses it. Count the basket, the hoop of the harm from Alicia Froling. She's been on fire this game. Here's Mackenzie Adams, drives the lane and uses the glass for two. A great take here in the 16 double doubles. That's good for an SMU program record. Gaffney and one in transition. Kristen Gaffney into Froling, battling against McDonald, getting a step and using it. Basket, it hasn't been smooth, but there's Gaffney with the ball. They go right to Gaffney, like you said. Mackenzie Adams flying to the hoop and finishing. SMU back in front by four, has taken over the point guard position in this starting lineup. What a pass that was, and an even better finish. Fading away, Bray McDonald drawing the pressure. Feed out Perry, and a foul called. Yeah, I think. And that goes against SMU. A huge call. Perry thought she was getting two from the line. Going the other way. They go right to Bannister. 30 seconds remaining. ECU down by three. Poked away, stolen. And Perry comes up with a huge defensive stop for SMU and heads to the foul line for two with the Mustangs in the bonus.